Hi guys, Jim the Iowa Tesla guy. Welcome back to the channel. We are headed out to Colorado again to do a very quick out and back road trip to pick up my son. And on our way out, we are going to be doing some camping, but camping different than the last video I put out. Hopefully we've learned a few things. This is going to be road trip camping, speed camping, however you want to do it. And part of our setup is that we are going to pull into the campsite pretty late. We want to have a setup that is absolutely minimum uh, and get to sleep, wake up early, hit the road, and minimize our time sleeping and dealing with any of that. And hopefully when we get there, we'll be charging and everything will work out fine overnight. But I want to show you my setup now because I anticipate that when we get there, it's going to be too dark to film so let me show you what we got going so part of the trip is that we are going to get set up with the bed already completely set up so it is inflated this time around we got a cover to go over the a padded cover to go over the bed um, and also we're doing something a little bit on the top i want to show you so what we're gonna do instead of just relying on the top cover is we are going to be using a space blanket on the outside of the car. And these are really, really thin. They're easy to pack. I have this one undone, but they really come in really a wallet sized little envelope. And they hopefully keep out 100% of the light while being thin and packable. And we're gonna hold them onto the car with these, which are a series of magnets that are relatively soft and i they came with these sticky 3m sticky tape on the back and i actually just have one side applied because i wanted a little bit of cushion between the magnet and the car they're pretty um strong magnets and i'm going to show you what this setup is like because i don't think i'm going to be able to show you when we actually get to the campsite what it looks like with the space blanket on so here it is with the space blanket on top of the car being held down with magnets. The outside of the car is steel, so the magnets do hold uh, just fine. You can see that they're actually clinging quite well. And we're hopeful, we haven't tried it yet, but we're hopeful that this will help keep the light out while being something that we can easily set up when we get there. And in the morning, we can just crumple it up. They're less than a dollar a piece or about a dollar a piece. And we can just uh, throw it away and wait for our next trip. So now that I have the space blanket on, let's give a look up top and see if we can see any lights uh, through the car. And I have, there's still light outside as you can see, and I have the lights on in my garage. So let's just see if we can see anything through. So as you can see, you can see the mesh of the headliner um, where there are holes that let light in, but there is absolutely no light coming in. I guess we'll see how well this works in the morning when we wake up. The space blanket is almost a perfect size width wise. I wish it was about another two feet longer and cover the back window. I think that out actually would work out pretty well. But overall, I have no complaints so far. And at least on paper, this looks like it should work really well. And hopefully later in this video, I'll show you if it actually did. All right, another thing that I learned from my first camping trip and video is that you're gonna have to adjust your seats um, in order to fit the mattress in the back just in the right location. And if you don't wanna fiddle with that when you get to your destination, a really quick and easy way of dealing with it is to create a profile on your Tesla like you do any other profile. And I created one on mine called Camping. And with that Camping profile, I put the seat up to where I wanted it to be. And I also had it putting the seat up and I had the steering wheel go up as far as possible and in as far as possible because we're gonna do some packing of our stuff in the front seats while we're sleeping. So the reason for the profile is that when we get to our destination, we just quickly put it in the camping profile. The seat will move. We still have to adjust the uh, passenger seat by hand, hopefully. Come on, Elon, let's give us that feature where that's also saved as well. He says it's coming. And quickly throw up the space blanket on the roof put up the window screens, which only takes about five minutes, and then hopefully hunker down and 
get to bed because we're going to get up early and get going in the morning and I will pick things up when we get to that point. Made it to Gothenburg, 102 miles this leg, 307 watt hours per mile. We need, we're at 17% state of charge. Can't turn on camp mode until you get to 20 and there's no guarantee that the power at the camping area is gonna work. So I wanna have at least 40 before we leave here, or actually 40 when we get to the campsite. So we're gonna plug that in and see what we need to do. But for now, let's get plugged in. We made it to the campsite. We are settled in. Um, we pulled in to Gothenburg, uh, Nebraska and found the campsite in town. Uh, we thought we had reserved a spot with power and we were going to be given a spot without power, but we asked for it. If they had a spot, they said they were full. We're basically right across from the main check-in area by a little park. Um, but there is a box we were able to plug into a TT30 outlet. If you don't know what that is, go check out my last video on camping. I do cover that and power. We are charging at about three kilowatts. And I know from experience that we can effectively and safely run the AC all night and add charge to the battery. Um, we have the side scrims put up on over the windows and they are doing a good job um, from Tesmat and we have the roof shade like we had last time. It is see-through, but on top we have that space blanket, which I showed you earlier in the video what we were doing because I was fearful we were gonna roll in when it was dark and I was absolutely right. So I'm glad I filmed that ahead of time. And everything from a storage perspective is up front. The air mattress was pre-inflated and we are all settled in in camp mode. Uh, ready to basically go to bed as quickly as possible because we're going to get up really early and hit the road because uh, we're here to do one job which is to get from here to Colorado as quickly and efficiently as possible and then we're going to turn right back around and come back the next day. Didn't actually get to show this in my last camping video but when you put it in camp mode after a couple of minutes you get this little fire and a tent and a couple of chairs make you feel all warm and cozy. Um, it used to be that this stayed on the entire night, but I believe it automatically turns off after 15 minutes, so you're good to go. You don't have to worry about the screen uh, waking you up at night. So camp mode on, settled in, air mattress, blankets, pillows, window covers. Good night, everyone. Good morning. Um, it is about 6.45 in the morning. We gotta get up, we gotta get going. Um, overall, the night worked out okay. Um, it was a bit windy. As you can see by looking up, our um, space blanket decided to blow off at some time in the night. So I guess we'll chalk that up as a bit of a fail. It was a good idea. If it was uh, not as windy, it probably would have worked out, but I think getting a top cover that's got a complete opaque section in it would probably work out better. As far as charge, we kept it at uh, 65 all night. Um, we got here with about 58% charge, and right now we're sitting at about 77% charge. So similar to our last experience where we, we gained some, didn't gain as much. I because I think it was quite a bit warmer last night. So it just took a lot more energy to keep the car cold. 
So we're going to get packed up here and the, the key to, to, to we're not going to break anything down. We're just going to pull everything off, throw it in the back and go. And uh, we're going to wait to break everything down at the next uh, supercharger so we can minimize our, our, our breakdown time and hit the road quicker. So we'll catch you at the next supercharger. Took down the screen, we found our space blanket. Did a good job covering our uh, half of our, our windshield. <laughs> so we're gonna get that taken down here in a second and then uh, hit the road. Here's space blanket. Magnets did their job. They stayed on the car, except for this one in the back. So get this all torn down and uh, get unplugged and use the restroom and get on the road. Welcome to Ogallala, Nebraska. We are here for a decent sized stop. We camped overnight. We're still in the clothes that we were in when we slept, which is kind of gross, but we are gonna get changed and uh, get going for the day. And then when we get to our destination, we'll be able to grab some showers. Now we got a serious, serious Tesla camper there. We've got a Model Y pulling a camper with a car top carrier. I would love to know what kind of range they're getting on that thing right now. I got to talk to the owner of the Model Y that had a car top carrier and was also pulling a trailer and I asked him what kind of watt hours per mile he was getting. He was actually starting in the mountains and going east and he said that up in the mountains he was getting about 750 watt hours per mile, which I thought was a lot. Um, but he says now that he's down here in the plains it is brutal and he is getting about 1200 watt hours per mile which is four times worse than we're getting in a standard model y right now i asked him if he was able to even make it between superchargers and he said no he's actually having to stop at electrify america stations as well and he's doing full charges so that has got to be slow going but man He's brave, a lot braver than I am. So our speed camping journey has come to an end for this trip overall, mostly successful. You are still sleeping in a car. It is not a hotel experience, but if you do a little planning ahead, you can roll in, stop, get set up quickly, tear down quickly, and get on the road uh, for very little money. The entire camping journey cost us $25. And if we weren't plugged in, it was gonna cost us like $10, but being able to plug in overnight uh, prevented us from having to do any supercharging when I got up in the morning and we were able to hit the road and get going. So hopefully you found this video interesting. Hopefully you found it helpful in your planning your next road trip in your Tesla. If you did, please hit that subscribe button. Subscriptions really help drive the channel. Hit that bell icon to be notified of any updates of new videos because we have new content coming out all the time. If you're looking to buy a Tesla of your own, make sure you don't miss out on those thousand free supercharger miles by using that referral code. Use any referral code, but if you want to use mine, that is great. So until next time, happy road tripping.